Dancing takes me to a happy place as well. Good Thursday to you all. Welcome into First Take. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam here with you. Gentlemen, good morning. Last good second morning. preparations. Yeah. How y'all doing? How are you? Both What's of up? you. Good. So good that morning, means Molly. good morning. It's going to be intense today. That's mm -hmm. what you're telling me? Yep. All right. Let's get right into it then. Cam is leading his squad to an undefeated season, but that's not the only thing that makes him happy. Dancing does. Stephen A., what is your reaction to Cam's comments? Well, I have no problem with uh, his uh, electing to enjoy himself. I think that we have to understand something. Everybody has their own individual source of motivation. Um, obviously, when you think about Cam Newton and what he has been able to do this year, they've got the number three ranked offense in the entire NFL. Their passing attack is 28th in the NFL, but they've got the third rushing attack in the NFL, the third overall offense right now in the NFL. They're undefeated, one of only two undefeated teams in the NFL, the only undefeated team in the NFC. Uh, right now, if the playoffs were to begin the road to the Super Bowl through the NFC must come through Charlotte, Carolina, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So when you look at it from that perspective, you're having a ball. You also have to take into account the fact that he has to pay attention to what works for him. Mm -hmm. Okay? Certain people, you know, just being quiet, demure, laid back, whatever words you want to use to describe their personality does not work for them, you know? I mean, to me, I, you know, I think often about Skip and I, you know, when Skip and I, Skip and I have two completely different approach to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more extemporaneous than he is, in my opinion. Skip is thorough. He knows everything. And even though he knows everything, he still has to look it up two, three, four, five times because he, even though he knows everything, he still has to look well, it up I, to I make sure of it. A, well, you, you, <laughs> call, you, call it, you call it preparation, but there's no way we could sit here doing what we do if your brother wasn't prepared. That is true. The fact of the matter Thank is, you. is that we have different ways of going of about course. doing mm -hmm. What we do, if I had to do, if you told me that I had to do this job every day emulating what Skip does, mm -hmm. I would quit you on would. the spot because that does. They, I'm you not, would fail. I would That's fail. Would. I would, I would I fail agree. because it's not my it's not way. You, yep. yeah. you know, everybody's got to be themselves. And I say all of that to say that when you look at Cam Newton mm -hmm. and what he brings to the table, Skip, again, the pat. What I love about Cam is that it says the 28th, rank, uh, you know, ranked passing offense. It looks so deceptive because even though they got the third ranked offense, how could that be with their passing attack so putrid or whatever? Cam Newton shows up when it's time. The bigger the moment gets, mm -hmm. the more he shines. Suddenly mm -hmm. at crunch time, the passes are more accurate. The running plays are, you know, are more spectacular. He finds a way to get the job done. And if, if, if celebrating is a component to all of that, a source of, of whether it be motivation or a reason to exhale or whatever the case may be, I have no problem with it. I think that a lot of people who are making noise about it are making noise because they don't like the fact that he is the guy that is doing this. Why they feel that way is open to okay. speculation. Well, we, we need I to speculate know. on you that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but we I, will. But I do believe okay. that you have a lot of people that have a problem with him. Do I think, I, you know, listen, I, I can only go by what I could tell. I have a radio show every day where I communicate with folks. I'm here on national television. There's social media to take into consideration. There's me being at arenas, walking the streets. Yep. I can only go by my experience. I can tell you, far be it for me to offend anybody. I haven't ran into, I have not run into a brother that has a problem with Cam Newton. It's usually somebody else that has a problem with Cam Newton. It's not black people. We look at him and we say, we don't, we don't know what y'all are talking about. Okay. What is the problem? We really don't see it. Now, I can't speak for all black folk, but most black folk I know who love football, obviously, have absolutely no problem whatsoever with Cam Newton. But the people who are complaining, they, 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 they might be a bit different. Mm -hmm. and, and, and by the way, there's a lot of white folks out there that don't have a problem with Cam Newton. Of a younger generation, Maybe the so. older generation, who happen to be of a different ethnicity, they might have a problem with that's it. And that's their possible. right. And that's their right. Okay. But it is what it is. Okay. Those are all very valid points and insightful points. And I appreciate you saying all that you just said. Now, I'm going to come from my perspective. Okay. I have to remind you, I'm a Cam fan. I was completely on board with Carolina taking him number one overall in that draft. Mm -hmm. He has struggled 
He has broken through this year, mm -hmm. breakout year, fabulous year. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest QBR, but when it's time to make a play, Cam Newton has made a play at Seattle. Consistently. He consistently made the play to win the game because mm -hmm. they've won all their games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we first discussed this on Monday, you suggested between the lines that I just didn't get it because I'm not black. Like, I'm coming from a different cultural perspective, and so I'm just not going to see it, feel it, understand it the way you do. Is that fair? Yeah, Is that, okay. that's fair. That's fair. And you know, that may be the case. But that's not a negative. Okay, I, I, I get it. Right. But may, I, I am speaking strictly and obviously as a white guy right mm -hmm. now. Yep. This is the way I viewed this. Upon first thought, when I first saw it happen, for me, it's not a white thing, it's not a black thing, it's a quarterback thing. Now I'm coming from my old school, long time covering the NFL perspective. Got it. But this is a leader of the franchise thing. Mm -hmm. This is a breakout potential superstar quarterback thing mm -hmm. that I'm talking about here. I've said many times on this show, I don't have any problem with the Superman. It's, mm -hmm. it's quick and it's very effective because it drives home the point to the opposition you just superman them. You just dived right over the line of scrimmage, and they could not stop you oftentimes when he scores from the mm -hmm. two-yard line by extending over the goal line. Mm -hmm. Right. And the only times we, we both have criticized him is when you did it when you were down 30 to somebody and you're, you've got a losing record. You know, we're going back a couple of years ago. Okay? But usually I'm fine with that. To me, this came across as an extended, choreographed look at me. And I don't love it for the quarterback. I'm good with the receiver doing it. I'm good with the running back doing it. This is the leader of the franchise. I don't care what color he is. If the white guy did it, I'd be the first to stand up and say, what are you doing? Because this was all about Cam Newton. All of his quotes defending himself were, were I, me kind of quotes. It took me to a happy place. So... <sighs> He was not able to share the celebration with any teammates. And if you see, they're all coming behind him to high five, hug, you know, face bump, whatever they're going to do. And he's leaving them all hanging because it's just going on and on and on because he had he had thought through this and he's going to do a dance that's popular in Atlanta now. And a lot of people are going to love this. And I do not doubt the entertainment value of this for people of all colors because mm -hmm. it's very entertaining because he's good at it. He was great at the dance. But it goes on and on and on. And he left his teammates hanging. So my point is, Football is a team game. How many times have I told you this? It is the ultimate unity game, far more than baseball or basketball or hockey or any other sport you want to talk about, soccer. Football is all about unity. The key to a championship mm -hmm. run is the unity of a football team, mm -hmm. and it starts with the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So in this case, when you go on and on and on and exclude your teammates with an I, me celebration as the quarterback, you are, you're starting, let me finish, just let me finish, okay? If you want to talk, I'll, I'll stop. No, okay? Skip, I All was right. just trying okay. to tell you, All just right. in case, you know, okay. I was just All letting right. you know that I was going to Okay, I know you're going to go, but All remember, right. you are threatening your team unity when that, because this is, this is not done by any quarterback of any color. This is not done. We haven't seen this before, this kind of a lengthy, you know, post-touchdown mm -hmm. celebration. Maybe he is shattering the mold. Maybe I'll sit back at one point and say, that brought his team together, because they fed off this. They loved it. Maybe that's the case. That has not been the case before in this league. So I'm going to bank on history here and say, I think you're threatening your team unity. And we have talked about Cam on the sidelines with the towel over his head where he, he makes it a, a me and they kind of a thing. When, when things are going wrong, he doesn't want to be part of the, the group. Now things are going right and apparently in this case, it comes across to me as a white guy as you don't want to be part of that that group for that moment. Go ahead. I don't think you should compare yourself to the typical white guy in the eyes of black folks in terms of how you think. When you sit up there and you say what you say, me knowing Skip Bayless the way that I do, I know you feel that way. But if I did not know you, and I had to lean on things from an historical perspective okay. as a black man. Yep, I got it. I would not absorb it and embrace it the way that nope. you just broke it down. Here is how I would look at it. I am Cam Newton. I am a star in this league. By the way, 
Like you said, Georgia is popular in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Where did Cam Newton go to high school? Oh, West Lake High School huge in Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. I got it. Okay, I got it. same high school as mm -hmm. Pac-Man Jones. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. So you take that into consideration. He started Auburn, obviously, but ultimately, what this comes down to is that it's a dance. It's popular. He knows how to do it quite well, oh, obviously, absolutely. and he's obviously. celebrating it. So what happens is, is that when you see people standing up in an uproar about it. You can't convince. I'm not talking about you as a Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about somebody who happens to not be black. Mm -hmm. You can't convince black folk mm -mm. that you're complaining about Cam Newton because, oh, that particular celebration and it took too long and his teammates were, were looking to celebrate for him, with him and he left them hanging because he was too busy celebrating. I promise you most of them enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed watching it. I thought he did it pretty damn good, mm -hmm. to be quite honest with you. I hear you. But here's where it speaks to a bigger issue and for the sake of our audience, I had no clue we were going to go here, but I'll take it there. All right. Here's the deal. This complaint about Cam Newton, the game was on Sunday. It is Thursday. But and we're reacting to his reaction. No, I know that, okay. but I'm saying right. there are still people who are complaining about okay. it, which is right. why he spoke on it, because there are still people, that's all I mean by that. There's still people who are complaining about it. To Cam Newton and to a vast majority of African Americans out here in this country, what we're seeing is wait a minute. You want to tell him what to do. You want to tell him how to do it. You know, he's out there. He's balling. Now you want to tell him how he should celebrate what you deem acceptable. Black folks tired of that. Black folks got their own style, their own flavor, their own flair. They do okay. what they do. If other court, maybe, just maybe other quarterbacks didn't do what Cam Newton does because Cam Newton is the only one that could do it. Okay. It's just like when, when you know, we might not have liked the fact that, that, Terrell Owens, you know, imitated Ray Lewis when he scored a touchdown against the Baltimore Ravens years ago in the end zone or whatever. But ain't nobody going to deny that that was a memorable moment and he did it pretty damn good. What I'm saying to you is that people who can do stuff usually pull off something that when they're pulling off something that people can't do, sometimes you have folks that have a problem with it because in our eyes, you're trying to dictate everything to us yet again. Cam Newton has graduated in the NFL. He has elevated himself to elite status. He doesn't get in trouble with the law. He ain't breaking no laws. He ain't getting in trouble off the field. He's not a distraction to his teammates inside the locker room. They're winning football games, and yet still, People are out here trying to find something to complain with him about because, oh, you don't like the manner in which he's celebrated. He's going to take, he's not going to sit up there and take a personal affront to it, you know, visually the way some others do. But as we sit back, meaning black mm -hmm. folks, watching what he has endured this week, it's really much ado about nothing other than envy and jealousy because at the end of the day, the brother's winning, he's producing, he's not a distraction, he's not breaking any laws, he's not doing anything wrong. He is simply balling and people from other communities who are complaining about him. All they're doing is sending a message to the black community reminding us that there is a place, a particular box that you want us to stay in and act accordingly, that we, you want us to march to your tune. Cam Newton has earned the right to debunk all of that. Mm -hmm. And I got no problems with it whatsoever. If the Tennessee Titans had a problem with it, they should have kept him out of the end zone. The Washington Redskins, he might do it again this week he or might. something else. What are the Redskins? What you going to do about it? This ain't New Orleans you're going up against. This is not the Carolina Panthers. They actually have a defense, okay? And an, a, co a, co a coordinator that actually kept his job. What you going to do about Cam? Do something about it or be quiet. Okay. By the way, for the record, I did hear Brian Dawkins, our analyst mm -hmm. on this network, have some problem with Fair. the length of the celebration. Fair he enough. thought it was just a little much. Okay? Fair enough. Just, just Fair for enough. the record. Okay? Fair enough. All right. And then on a lighter note, a much lighter note, okay. Jared Allen, Cam's teammate, did defend Cam by saying, this isn't Footloose, you are allowed to dance. Do you know Footloose? Is yes. it before your time? Yes. You, do you know Footloose? Yes. Okay, you got the 1984 <laughs> and you got the 2011, and the theme is the parents are forbidding the kids to dance, mm -hmm. and the kids are going to well, dance anyway, and they're 
white kids. That's right. And, and they can really, listen, it's right. shocking, but there are a few white kids who can actually dance. Yeah. Can you believe that? Right. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know how, they're just freaks, I guess, well, but well, you know, well, they can well, dance. Well, listen, well, listen, man, I grew up, you know, listen, one of my all-time favorite movies was Saturday Night Fever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I still love John. John, you could talk about John Travolta with Pulp Fiction and Swordfish and all of these other movies. I remember... I remember Don, the, John Travolta and Danny Terrio from the mm -hmm. 1970s. Both white, both could dance they their could butt dance. off. So it they ain't about dance. stereotype. Right, it's just a right. generational thing. You have some people. Of course, there's going to be exceptions to every rule. Mm -hmm. But you, most of the people who are complaining about Cam Newton today mm -hmm. based on his celebration, I can assure you most of them ain't black folk. That I can tell you. All right. I have no issue with it. Cam, do you? Speaking of.